all right welcome back for another fishing adventure uh, stumbled across this video my name is Jeremy I do a little bit of fishing and do a little bit of golfing and I like to document both of my adventures here so today we're out on the Delta from all the reports I've been hearing it's been picking up out here on the Delta but of course the night before I'm able to come out here we have a little bit of a cold front come in it's probably 37 38 degrees right now well hey no excuses we'll just get out here and grind out and see what we can find today been out here a couple of other times different launch though and uh, it's been a struggle the winter's been tough out here I had one trip where I caught one little small fish and another trip where I caught a decent sized bass and one little small striper so uh, hopefully today is better than that but it's beautiful out here a little bit of cloud cover no wind right now I mean glass calm conditions I was kind of expecting a little bit more chop on the water so maybe it'll happen last night was super windy all right enough talking let's get you back on the chest and we'll get to fishing thanks for coming along on these journeys if you do like the video Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me comments. Let's get at it. Man, I can't get over how calm the conditions are today. Last night when I was rigging up everything, uh, the wind was blowing like 20 mile an hour. Yeah, I, I was second guessing myself on whether or not I was going to come out here because the wind was blowing so hard last night. And then today... Not even a issue. Squirrel running around on the rocks. Got a bird right there. Gotta love the wildlife out here on the delta. There goes a crane taking off. <clears throat> trying to find them, guys. I'm trying to find them. There's a fish. That's a little tiny fish. He hammered that. This is uh, it's one of those dangerous situations with a jerk bait. Well, we didn't get skunked. It's still early in the day. This is not what we want. Hopefully we catch something bigger than that though. I hate to come out here all day and not be the only thing I catch, but it's better than coming out here and not catching anything. Well, I thought, you know, I thought that was a good sign. I got one out here pretty, pretty quickly with the jerk bait once throwing it out here, but hoping to find a bunch of them out there there there's another one oh catch up catch up catch on come on yeah there we go it's better fish little striper oh. all right don't check up my Jerk bait here, bud. All right. Well, maybe the jerk bait is the deal today. Little small striper, but hey, once again, fish is a fish. Thanks, bud. get back out there that's kind of in the same spot where I caught that little large mouth too so kind of right out in that channel there the only bad thing about this spot right here is as a kayak fisherman it puts me in a bad position as boats just come flying through here but there hasn't been a lot of boat traffic out here today so that's a good thing that's a really cool thing about the Delta you can be out here fishing for largemouth and just run into some big stripers. Obviously that one wasn't a big striper, 
but you have that opportunity. I'd like to hook into about a 20 pound striper. That would be awesome. I think for today though, I am just gonna kind of concentrate in this area and maybe explore up that little channel there. I've never really gone up that way. got smoked how did that come off he hammered it there's a fish oh yeah this is a good striper this is a nice striper he just now knows he's hooked. Yeah, this is about a three or four pound striper. Come here, buddy. Right on. Yes. Now the fun. No, 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 no. Don't roll. Don't roll. This is the fun part with with the jerk bait getting them out of the net I think he just broke the hook yes he did all right that's a decent it's not as big as I first thought he was. Let's see what he measures. Stay. Alright, let's get a quick weight and get him back in the water. Yeah, definitely not as big as I first thought. Oops. 2.6, so a little over two and a half pounds. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. The guy broke the hook, snapped it off, so now I gotta change out the hook. All right, well, that was quite the fiasco. It took me a while to get everything back to normal. I had to do some repair on on this uh, jerk bait. I had to add this hook because he broke the he broke the other one and he bent out the other two hooks. So I don't know how well they're going to work, but we're going to keep throwing it until uh, it shows otherwise that it's not going to work. So. Hopefully we don't lose any big fish with those hooks bending out like they did. It's definitely something uh, I'm going to have to look to upgrade this hardware because those bent out entirely too easy. For such an expensive bait, you would think that would come with some stout hardware, but not the case. You see the seagulls are over here working this area, so there's definitely some bait running through and I think that's why this, this jerk bait's working when nothing else is. I mean, I've thrown, thrown lots of other baits so far this morning and I'm not getting anything on any other baits other than this jerk bait. Caught the two striper and one little tiny bass. See the sun's trying to peek out. I don't really know that I want that. There's, there's another fish. Oh, he might've come off came off and got in the grass and came off that felt good oh my hands are numb okay I had to put some gloves on man it's getting chilly out of here it was 60, no, I think it was 72 degrees, something like that yesterday. All right, 
Let's let's switch over. See if we can't pick up any any largies. I want to work up this uh, this channel here. I've never fished up in here before, so let's give it a shot. number four and he's a monster yeah that's the thing about this Senko man it'll catch a monster or it'll catch the dinkiest of dinks they all love the Senko sun came out it's getting a little warmer which is nice I can actually feel my fingers now but it's made the fishing a little tough. Oh, there's a fish, and I was just reeling that thing in. Oh, it's a good largemouth. There we go. All right, well, that one was a little cleaner than the last all right that's a nice little fish let's see who would have been a keeper all right he's not gonna cooperate with his mouth it doesn't look like and he wants to jump 13 and three quarters all right Let's let you go. We're not going to weigh you. You're not big enough to weigh, buddy. Took a little break for lunch, and I was, I think, the first or second cast after lunch there. So, it's fish number five on the day. Two decent ones, three small ones. But, turned out to be not such a bad day. All right, I think that's gonna do it for the day. Nothing spectacular. I think that cold front did kind of shut the bite off a little bit, but I was still able to manage a few on some reaction baits, which is nice. I didn't have to finesse fish all day long. But, you know, springtime's coming and fishing's just gonna get better and better out here on the Delta. So I'm going to keep coming out here, plus uh, I need to get up to Clear Lake this year, need to fish that, and uh, I'd actually like to fish in a tournament or two this year, that would be fun. I think I'm starting to get everything settled in and, and getting comfortable in the kayak to where I think I could do a tournament. So, appreciate you watching, hit that like button, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't and you enjoyed the content, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.